Hello, this is Dr. Daniel Hilford. I have come here once again. I respectfully invite you to subscribe to the channel DH Media GH and benefit from the proceedings of this channel. The last time I came your way, we tried to explore the difference between biology and human biology. We established the fact that the field of biology is concerned with the study of living things and that it encompasses various disciplines such as morphology, anatomy, physiology, ecology, molecular biology, microbiology, biochemistry, and cell biology. We also indicated that biologists do study life at many different levels, including cells, tissues, organs, body systems, and organisms. Furthermore, we were able to indicate the fact that the biologists explore organisms such as animals, plants, fungi, archaea, bacteria, and protists. These organisms fall under three main domains, the domains eukarya, archaea, and bacteria. Apart from these, the biologists also study about some molecules which are known to be causal agents of diseases. And those causal uh, agents or those molecules which are studied by the biologists include viruses, viroids, virusoids, and prions. Uh, these are molecules. Uh, the most advanced probably are the, but, uh, the viruses. Uh -huh. The viruses are the most advanced among these molecules. And uh, uh, these viruses are considered to be organisms at the edge of life. We, they are not really considered to be organisms which are uh, living things per se, but rather organisms at the edge of life. They share some features with living organisms. For example, they have genetic material, which may be DNA or RNA, and then again, they evolve these two major features they share with living organisms but there are so many other things that living organisms do that they are unable to do um in one of the next or subsequent videos we'll talk about um viruses in a more uh, uh detailed uh, uh, way than or to a more detailed extent than this but today, I want you to uh, add to the fact that among the things that biologists study are molecules, and those molecules include prions, virusoids, virus, and viruses. And that of these, the viruses are considered to be organisms at the edge of life. And the reason is that they share two of the major traits of living organisms one of them is that they have genetic material which may be rna or dna and they evolve they are able to undergo evolution the human biology on the other hand we said it's a subdivision or discipline of the field of biology and that it is meant to explicitly answer key questions concerning how human beings go to where they are at this time. Again, the human biologists explore how humans function and that uh, they also study uh, the niche of human beings in the natural world or the ecological system. I indicated that by niche we mean the rule or the status. Uh, that humans occupy in the natural world. Um, today, we would want to narrow down to what is meant by human biology, and then again, we would want to also explore the question, who needs human biology? Who needs human biology? On the first question, which has to do with what is human biology, let us take note of the fact that the field of human biology deals with the study of all aspects of the human being. 
as a living organism. The aspects under consideration include the evolution of the human being, the genetics of the human being, human population ecology, human anatomy and physiology, molecular biology of the human, human growth and development, reproductive biology, anthropology, and nutrition. Yes, these are sub-disciplines of the field of human biology. In other words, human anatomy and physiology is not necessarily the same as human biology. Rather, it is an aspect or a subdivision of human biology. In other ways, if there are programs where people are expected and required to do human biology in one semester and to do human anatomy and physiology in a subsequent semester, what it means is that during the human biology stage, the students will be introduced to something that is broader, okay, and that will include human anatomy and physiology. But then during the subsequent uh, semester, they will narrow down to human anatomy and physiology and do something that is more detailed uh, concerning uh, the, the, the anatomical and physiological uh, characteristics of the human being. Yes, so the field of human biology deals with the study of all aspects of the human being as a living organism, and those aspects include the evolution of the human being, the genetics of the human being, human population ecology, human anatomy and physiology, molecular biology of the human, human growth and development, reproductive biology, anthropology, and nutrition. The next question is, who needs human biologists? Or who needs human biology as a discipline or a sub-discipline of biology? To answer this, let's begin by saying that a deep understanding of human biology is helpful for both pure and applied biologists or scientists who seek to specialize in the area of human anatomy and physiology, human genetics, developmental biology of the human, immunology, and nutrition. Gaining such an understanding of this aspect of biology is also valuable to those who are interested in the field of public health and medicine, as well as those who are entering healthcare delivery services as physicians, physiotherapists, or physical therapists, ophthalmologists, optometrists, pharmacists, medical laboratory technologists, dentists, and all those who are interested in conducting biomedical or public health research. All these people need uh, knowledge or deep understanding of the field of human biology. And so, if you are interested in any of those fields, then you must pursue or you must try to explore the field of human biology. Thank you very much for listening. I'll come your way again with another video where we'll look at what human biologists do. What human biologists do. Or what will you do what the third of human biology, when you become an expert of human biology, what will you be expected and required to do as a scientist in order to contribute your quota to growth and development of your nation or your continent or the world at large? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.